Alright, today is the day I'm finally doing my advanced peel on my face. So I've only done man mandelic peel on my face this season, but I still have some hyperpigmentation left from the fat transfer right here in my cheeks. So I'm really trying to treat that. And my face is sensitive, so I am going to numb for this treatment just so that I'm more comfortable. So I just picked up some numbing cream from Platinum Skincare, but my plan is to do a layer of Jessner's and then I'm gonna go in with a couple layers of TCA 13%. I'm not going any stronger than that because there's no need. I don't need to leave hyperpigmentation. And then I will follow up with the Dream Pill and we're gonna get a nice peel going, hopefully treat some of this crepiness under, underneath my eyes. But I like to cover my numbing with just a silicone mask. And so I'm just gonna numb for probably about 45 minutes and then I will wash it off uh, with a cleanser, like an acid-based cleanser. I'll do two two cleanses and then we'll go from there. So I haven't washed my makeup off because I'm going to have to wash my face anyway. And I don't think I plan on treating my neck for this, but I do plan on treating underneath my eyes. So right down here is my most sensitive part. So I really got to numb down here. Okay, and then I put this on and let it sit for 45 minutes. And I'll be back after I have cleansed everything off. So we're going to go into the peel now. I'm starting with the Jessner's so that... This has 14 resorcinol, 14 salicylic, and 14 lactic. And my skin is sensitive to salicylic acid or numb, and we're just gonna go for it so the numbing doesn't wear off. So I've dipped into my cup, and I'm just gonna go along my face now. And I would have already had this done. Um, I gotta remember to keep this away from my eyebrows where I have my microblading. But if I wouldn't have been dumb, a week ago and done like some contouring with some sunless tanner. I would have been able to do this already. But I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. It's spicy. And then before I start TCA, I'm gonna put some Aquaphor around my eyebrows and as a barrier to my eyelids. I don't remember Jessner's being this spicy. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be back when a uh, time is up. That was spicy. So you see all this precipice right here? I'm gonna continue going. I'm only doing the one layer of Jessner's, but now I'm putting Aquaphor around my brows to protect my microblading and then underneath my eyes. So I made sure I'm getting my 13%, so always check your bottle. I wiped out my cap, a gauze pad, and hopefully this TCA won't hurt as bad as that Jessner's did. Like I say, my skin is so sensitive. I'm gonna start right this way. Okay, another timer for five minutes. Wow. In my opinion, numbing just doesn't help. Like my face is so sensitive and I'm already seeing frosting, so I don't know if I'll be able to continue. We'll see. A lot of people ask, do you neutralize in between layers? No, you do not wash off or neutralize in between layers. TCA self neutralizes in the skin after five minutes. Jessner's neutralizes in the skin after four to six hours. Um, I'm gonna do underneath my eyes with a Q-tip and then these spots uh, where the fat transfer was done, where it's been red. I, I did actually do my upper lid off camera. Uh, I didn't want to do into my actual crease where it's still healing, but so I'm just dipping a Q-tip in here, wringing it out pretty well, and I'm gonna do a pass underneath my eyes. Down into that area of the fat grafting. All right another five minutes and I'll be back. So I'm realizing one thing I forgot to do was defat the skin prior to putting the peel on. Uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I've never forgotten before. So, I mean, I can tell that I'm getting a good peel here. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I'm actually probably gonna treat some of these areas that looks like I can treat it again. So my forehead is done, like that is done, but it looks like I might be able to treat my cheeks. And down here, one more time, my nose looks done too. All right, so let's do this. Just dip them back in and just my cheeks down. And I don't want this too wet. I am gonna do underneath my eyes again. Another five minutes. All right, I'm pretty much tuckered out. My skin's pretty much done. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to treat these areas of my skin again with the Q-tip where that surgery was. Okay, so I'm calling it good at that. Um, once I'm done with this five minutes, I'm gonna come back and put the dream pill on. 
Okay, I forget how much I hate TCA on my face. Oh, it hurts so bad. So now I'm gonna put the dream peel on. And since this is an advanced peel, I'm not rinsing anything off. I'm not cooling anything off. This is just gonna sit on my skin overnight. So a couple pumps of the dream peel. And emu oil is gonna be your best friend in this situation, emu oil and sunscreen. So I won't be wearing any makeup. When I wake up in the morning, I'll probably rinse my face off and put some emu oil on, and then I will follow up with sunscreen before I go outside. And we'll watch what happens with this peel over the next five days. So usually I'm done peeling within days five and six. This is the sad part about TCA peels is you have to go through an ugly stage. There's no way around it. So this is two days after, but you see like underneath my eyes is really starting to peel. I just put Aquaphor on or CeraVe ointment on and it's really tight and really uncomfortable. But today's Saturday and I just got a cute new outfit from Amazon that I wanted to wear today. I wanted to look all cute, but uh, apparently that's not gonna happen. It's probably just gonna be hat day. I'm just gonna be slathered in sunscreen and I like to wear emu oil from Platinum Skincare during the day. And then I just slather Aquaphor on my face at night. And I'm glad that the face peels early. I'm glad it's not like the body where I did a TCA peel on my legs and it's still flaking at week two. Now 30% does help quite a bit so I did some um, spot treatments on my arms some of those dark spots that I've been treating with 30% because I just didn't want to go through a whole arm peel and we'll see how that turns out but this is just the the one downside of a TCA peel sure the skin's gonna look phenomenal when I'm done you really have to plan for being down with the case of the uglies. So this is my Ladiwara. This is their microcurrent brush. And this is the only thing that has stopped my hair from falling out. So it comes with a little pod right here that puts serum into the hair. And then the red, you got red light and microcurrent in here. And it's just been phenomenal at stopping my hair from falling. I couldn't find anything that stopped my hair fall until I found this brush. So I'll link this plus my code for it as well. I'll be back with a peeling update. It hasn't started to peel yet, but probably by today sometime. Day three, and I can't currently move my face at all. So I'm lucky I can, <laughs> I can talk. It is so tight. So I just woke up about 10 minutes ago and I can still feel that there's Aquaphor or CeraVe on it, but I can't move it. So it should really start peeling today. It started peeling right here last night after I washed my face. So it's peeling down here. So it feels a little bit better down here right here is super tight. So I've never done an, an advanced peel like this on my face before. Like I've done Jessner's and TCA and then rinsed it and cooled it and then put the dream peel on. So I've never just left them all three on to marinate for six to eight hours or overnight like I did. So it's gonna be very interesting how this turns out, but right now I just, I can't move my face. Okay, so it's been a week since the peel and there were a couple mistakes that I made. First, I didn't defat and I didn't stop using my tretinoin five days before. So I had used it two nights before. So I think that was another mistake. I just wasn't thinking about it. So I have a little bit of redness right here that I'm treating just because my eyes were so dried up and so tight that it was causing dry eyes. So I had to like break the skin so that I could get some relief and get my lower lids to close. But overall, it did help this darkness that I was dealing with from the fat transfer from the eyelid surgery. And my skin looks beautiful overall. It's, it's much smoother, much more radiant. I don't have any sunscreen on right now. This is just some serums and I'm in love with it. And sadly, peels are not the best idea going into summer. So this is my last peel of the season. I do think that you can do the Mandelic 40 peels in the summer just because you get minimal flaking and you're able to get your sunscreen on your face smoothly. So make sure you subscribe because in the next couple videos, I have a treatment that you can do. It is perfect for when you can't use chemical peels in the summer because it, treat, it eliminates fine lines, reduces pore size, vanishes brown spots, reduces acne scars, treats hyperpigmentation, improves skin texture, brightens it, and reduces congestion just like CA peel would. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.